What is the misrepresentation of the data? As a minimal representation of data, CNFK reporting misrepresentation. So we can't say as a the same next topic is that misrepresentation of the data. So it is different from the salami slicing. So as a minimal answer of the questions, one of the defined the misrepresentation of the data is as a communicating honestly represented reported data in a deceptive manner. Other ways of misrepresenting data include drawing unwarranted interference from the data, creating deceptive graphics or figures and using the suggestive languages for theoretical effect. So misrepresentation of data, the concept of misrepresentation of data unlike fabrication and falsification is neither clean nor uncontroversial. For example, one might use statistical technique such as negative uh, integrations, representations of data, different of data, and then all the analysis of variance or making one's results appear in eliminate or trim the outfits of outlets when the cleaning up of raw data. Other ways to misrepresent the data include drawing of unwarranted interferences from the data or creating or deceptive graphics or figures and using suggestive legislatures of a theoretical effect. So, unethical practices in scientific research is intentional negligence in the acknowledgement of previous work deliberate fabrication of data we have collected, deliberate omission of knowledge or known data that does not agree with the hypothesis, passing another researcher's data in one's own, publication of results without the consent of all the researchers, failure to acknowledge all the researchers who perform the work, conflict of interest, repeated publication of two similar results or review breaches of confidentiality. So causes of scientific misconduct, conflict of interest of that is the most important part of the causes of scientific misconduct, personal, professional and financial policies regarding human subjects, life, water beds or animal subjects in research and safe laboratory practices. So mentor or some sets of many responsible and relationships. Collaborative research including collaboration with industry, peer review, data acquisition and laboratory tools, management, sharing and ownerships. Research misconduct and policies for handling misconduct. Responsible authorship and publication. The scientist as a responsible member of the society, contemporary ethical issues, environmental research and environment and the societal impact of scientific research. So, retraction paper. What is happening? So, if we are doing this misconduct of research and if it is published, so plagiarized paper, so we have to do that paper, retraction of the paper. Some of the consequences of plagiarized scientific research publication, the Oxford Publication Dictionary 2018. If you go to the all site, if you go and search for the retraction of the paper, you will find huge number of papers are retracted from the by, by, by the different scientists because of the misrepresentation of the data or the graphs or plagiarisms, all these kind of things are retracted. So in a database search, an article may have a refracted appear before the title in a brief period. A retraction notice may also be appear in such results and in that title may begin with retraction followed by the sum title of the work. Also the full text of the research article may be labeled. 
retracted. Each of these indicate that the article has been retracted. See the identifying retraction the examples. If you go to this Oxford University Press or different institution press, you will find that different kinds of paper retraction of papers. So consequence of the scientific misconduct is that violations of the standard course of scholarly conducts of ethical behavior in a professional scientific research. Research that deviates from the practices and commonly accepted in the discipline of its academy and research communities of generally in the proposing or performing or reviewing or reporting research and creative activities. So we can see that if you go to this paper in different sites, we can see the retracted paper in a scientific, if you, uh, even in the retracted paper, we can see in a what you call say, say uh, nature and science publication, you can find how many research papers have been retracted. You can go and cite of these things. So construction of the retracted papers is humanity accounted with the academic mart. So it is an academic fraud, it is an academic fraud. Therefore, if you self-retract your papers, will other authors trust and cite your published work in the future? Will you be exercise of this far future hundred? If you find that you have by mistake, your paper has been copied from some other places by your students or by unknowingly. So you should always apply for yourself before somebody point it out. You should apply and get it done that yes, this research paper should be taken out and this is. So the good news is that academic community trains to forgive the genuineness, I mean, genuine mistakes. So if there is a genuine mistake, you do not know, if a, uh, genuinely you do not know, genuinely you have not done mistakes. So that mistakes will people take it very positively. So scientists learn from these mistakes, it also cleans up the literature and benefiting the everyone. Hence, hence encompassing that the retraction is beneficial to the scientific community. It is the right thing to do. Having an author self-retracted or papers or article on your resume will raise questions, but you can use it to your advantage. It is shown that you have the integrity. You can self-rectify or reflect or critically evaluate your own work. Are open to anyone challenges your assumptions, learn from your mistakes. So these are the things you can do things of your research affairs. So the self-retraction is an honest mistake. Self-destruction is honest mistake. You have to know that. The withdrawal of a published paper by an author should be encouraged for reasons of reasons mentioned above. However, this could be abused by the data quest authors or the chance of avoid allegations of the misconduct of publishing or fraudulent research. So perhaps dishonest researchers could get away with this once or twice, but the research community will raise questions. If an author self-retracts many papers, either way we accountable for the uh, desired and desired end results of cleaning up the literature journal with no doubt that symptoms place minimize the author of the contribution. So that's kind of things we have to very very careful that while you check oh, how to clean of retraction papers. Then researchers who have confessed their mistakes. There is a research life after self retractions. So Nathan Google it for example say Harvard Medical School student retracted his first paper he published. His honesty did not impact his career integrity or career prospects negativity. Another researcher, Pamela Roland from University of California took her self-retraction step further and uh, she was working in a mis she was working on a mislabeled bacterial strains and these mislabeled bacterial strains and their protection protein assays was unbelievable or unreliable. So not only did she retract his her papers she told the research community that about the mistakes at a conference. He announced, she announced that in a conference, it was most challenging talk of her life. However, if a scientist 
at the conferences configure me here conferences or in the congratulated for her for doing this right thing so that is called the right things ultimately trustworthy scientific literature is essential for any individual rather than slandering or applied of this researches that has to be taken care of applied self instructions so research integrity it comes the intellectual honesty excellence of thinking and doing and collegiality and openness autonomy and reasonability and self legalisms so these kind of things we have to know very well so scientific integrity and research ethics is acts on only in such a way that you would want your actions to become a universal law applicable to everyone in a similar situation act in such a way that you always treat humanity and whether one self or the others or act as a through you want or law making institutions so if la has also given a different guidelines you can see that if la guideline if you go to the website you can see this guideline so all of us will know that honesty the scrupulousness transparency independence and the uh, responsibility these are the most important for any research so to summarize of these things ethics are standards are used to differentiate acceptable and unacceptable behavior adhering to ethical standards in a scientific research is a noteworthy because of many different reasons first these avoidance of error for example the provisions against the fabricating falsifying or misrepresentation of the research data promote trust truth and minimize the error in conclusion for the good of science and humanity research has the individual responsibility precisely in transfer to the knowledge to the new generation so every academic institution has a research guidelines but sometimes students used to some unfair means and when they prepare their research papers many different disciplines and professional have standards and helps of members of this this disciplines so trust of the disciplines there are several responsibilities why it is important to ethical and this research so these are the things we have so different answers if you have any questions so oh, thank you very much namaskar we are really good that's i think it will help you in the research ethics thanks